Hi, welcome to how to use the Requisition Worksheet in Dynamics Nav. Requisition Worksheet lines contain detailed information about the items that need to be reordered. Now let's have a look at how we can use the Requisition Worksheet. So I'm going to search for the worksheet using the search function. And basically what you see here is a typical nav worksheet where we can enter lines, in most cases, item lines of items that we want to purchase or that we want to transfer. I'm first going to show you how to enter items manually. In the type field, you have the option to enter in nothing, GL account, or item. I'm going to enter in the item number 920, which is the Ant Warp conference table. And then as you can see here, some fields auto-populate. We also need to choose our action message. Because I entered this line manually, we'll have to choose new. And I'll enter in a quantity of 10. On the right navigation pane, you can see certain item details pertaining to this item, such as what kind of replenishment system was selected and which vendor you buy the item from, which is also listed down here. Now I'm ready to create a new purchase order in order to purchase 10 conference chairs from AR Day Property Management. I'm going to use the carry out action message to execute this. Make sure you have the accept action message selected before you do this. And now you'll see that the system will, has created a new purchase order. So if I were to look at my list of purchase orders, And then here you can see the purchase order for the 10 conference chairs. Now I'm gonna show you how to use the calculate plan batch job in NAV. This calculates a replenishment plan for items and stock keeping units that have been set up with a replenishment system of purchase or transfer. When you use this batch job, the system automatically fills in the action message field with a suggestion for an action you can take to replenish the item. This could be increasing the item quantity on an existing order or creating a new order. I have the ability here to enter in certain parameters. I've entered in the starting date, the ending date, and they're going to be using the 2018 forecast date. As you can see, the system starts calculating. It will look at the different items and parameters and suggest lines with their specific actions. The quantity field will suggest how much items should be ordered based on the replenishment options you set up. If you are using a stock keeping unit, you can set up transfers as a replenishment. Because we're using the planning functionality, the system has suggested other action messages such as change quantity. So right now the original quantity is 100, but they recommend to change the quantity to 30. Another action message is cancel, which means cancel excess supply orders. So right now there's an original quantity of 13 and they would suggest to cancel the order. This worksheet is trying to create the best possible inventory level for each item. Now you would have the ability to select which items you would like to carry out an action plan for. And that's how you use the requisition worksheet in NAV. Thanks for watching.